hello future engineers welcome to my youtube channel if you are if this is your first time and you find my videos interesting to your studies please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends friends that's the only way you can help me promote my channel and to expose my channel to the community civil engineering community especially and if my videos are important to your studies also please don't forget to subscribe then I will be refreshed, inspired, and energized by that doing. So this problem was solved already by the force method. This problem came out in the Civil Engineering Board exam, November 1998, and it again came out in 2008. So by the method of least work, determine the bar force of BD. AE is constant. So, this is our only redundant force. This is a determinate to the first degree. So, we select BD as our redundant force and we will call that B. So, considering the entire system, summation moment about A equals zero. So, AX is, we can solve RD, which is RD times D equals 10 times D. So, RD is 10 upward. Summation versus horizontal, so that is 10 kilonewtons, obviously. So RD is 10 kilonewtons upward, summation versus Y, so AY is 10 downward. So we begin at joint B, summation versus X. Let's assign the forces shown, assume all positive or tension. So summation forces X0, SBC plus P times 1 over square root of 2, the slope of the diagonals, equals 0. So SBC is negative P over square root of 2. Then summation versus y downward positive is ab plus p times 1 over square root of 2 equals 0. So ab is also negative p over square root of 2. Then we proceed to join c. Summation versus x equals 0. So 10 minus sac times... 1 over square root of 2 minus SBC, which is negative B over square root of 2 equals 0. So that means SAC is 10 square root of 2 plus P. So supposedly, I will not do this anymore because this is statics. I should assign this to you, but only for this part. Maybe later, I will do the statics for you. I will just guide you. Because there will be no learning if I keep on solving even the statics. This is already structural theory. You are matured enough for the finding of these forces by statics. It's no longer, it should no longer be presented in structural theory because that is statics. So as CD, summation versus Y0 downward positive. Plus SAC, which is 10 square root of 2 plus P, the vertical component, we multiply 1 over square root of 2 equals 0. So SCD is negative 10 minus P over square root of 2. And finally, at D, summation versus X, leftward positive, so SAD plus P times 1 over square root of 2 equals 0. Then you can compute as AD equals negative P over square root of 2. So, we'll be the ones to check if joint D is in equilibrium by summing up forces vertical. Then you also check joint A, support A, if it is in equilibrium. Summation for SX and summation for Y. All must be zero so that we can verify that these are the answers. So, we now tabulate there are six members including BD. Remember, this is the first method. So we have member S in kilonewtons, partial of S with respect to P, which is SVD. Then the length in meters, then the product of S, partial of S with respect to P, and length would be in kilonewton meter. But that is not important because AE is constant here. In alphabetical order, we begin with AB. Its force is negative P over square root of 2, the derivative negative 1 over square root of 2. 
the length is 3 meters, so the product is 1.5b. Next is AC, which is 10 square root of 2 plus b. The derivative is 1. The length is diagonal, so 3 square root of 2. And the product in terms of b and the constant, constant 3 square root of 3, 2p plus 6p. Next is AB, which is negative p over square root of 2. The derivative negative 1 over square root of 2. The length is 3 meters. Product is 1.5b. Then BC. SBC is negative p square root of 2. Derivative negative 1 over square root of 2. Length 3. And the product 1.5b. After BC, we have BD, which is P, the redundant force in this class, and the derivative is 1, the length is, it is diagonal, so 3 square root of 2, the product is 3 square root of 2P. And finally, we have CD, which is negative 10 minus P over square root of 2, the derivative negative 1 over square root of 2. The length is 3 meters. The product is 1.5 p plus 15 square root of 2. So adding summation of s partial of s with respect to p times length is 14.485 p plus 81.213. We divide that by ee and equate it to zero because the work done by bd internally is zero. So 14.485p plus 81.213 over A equals 0. So A does not matter. So P is negative and it is in compression. So P, which is SVD, equals negative or equals 5.607 kN compression. So that's it for this problem.